UFC superstar and Tiger Showman's fighter Hurricane Shane Burgos is preparing for battle at UFC 262 against Edson Barbosa. It's been a while since Shane has last competed in the UFC. We asked him if he likes having a long layoff in between fights. I do and I don't. So I do because I'm a big featherweight obviously and I have a lot of, a lot of weight to cut. So it helps me out with that part. But um, the, the, the length of it, just being on your mind for that long. I, I just, this one I've had almost three months to just think about and I'm we're, we're already at the halfway point. So uh, yeah, it's been a long one so far. So um, like I said, I, I, I do and I don't. It's got pros and cons. The Tiger Showman's fight team has some of the best fighters on the planet. I train with a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different dudes that are like specialists in different areas. I train with a bunch of different well-rounded guys, like some of my main training partners, Mike Trezano, Julio Arce, Jimmy Rivera. These are just names that you guys probably know, uh, Lyman Good. Um, one of the dudes that I train with that I call a specialist is uh, Mesher Kara. He's one of our like jiu-jitsu coaches. Shane has been training with Julio Arce since back in the amateur days. Oh man, yeah, he's a, he, he's, a chameleon's a good way, good way to put it, but he's like a, I don't even know what the word is exactly, he's like like a leech when you, when, we come, when it comes to grappling, he just will not get off you. Kickboxing too, he won't get off you because his combinations, he doesn't get, it never gets tired. He can throw a 30 punch combination, take a step left, and then throw another 30, 30 punch combination. Like, the dude is so well rounded, his grappling is so high level, his striking is so high level, I think he's one of the most underrated fighters we have on the team, honestly. Like people don't know how good he is because I don't think he's even shown his full potential in his fights. But now he's going back to 135. I can't wait to see him back at his at his real weight class to, to show the world what he can do. The lone wolf Mike Trezano is also helping Shane get ready for his fight. Trezano's a long, tall annoying guy to fight like his jab his sticks in your face he keeps you away keeps a good distance uh he's super technical i think that's his best attribute is he's super technical like he doesn't really have many many openings or flaws in his game because his techniques are so and his basics are so fundamental and, and they're so sound that uh he's, he's like a pesky guy to fight he's really annoying with his jab really annoying with the straight punches yeah, my, mike actually has a big fight before me on may 8th uh, against uh, ludovic klein in uh vegas i think that, that is I wouldn't say specifically for this one, I'm training with anyone more so than the others. I'm just training, I think, more well-rounded, a more well-rounded uh, game plan. I'm not really just going, focusing on one specific uh, area like you usually do for a fight. I'm focusing on jiu-jitsu, I'm focusing on wrestling, I'm focusing on uh, my kickboxing, my boxing. I'm, I'm, I'm training with different people here and there, but catering more so to, to what I, I plan on doing, more so than what I'm worried about my opponent doing. Shane's aggressive style forces his opponents to game plan for him as opposed to him game planning for his opponents. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I, anytime I, I get a fight, um, I obviously know, I'm such a big fa uh, uh, fan of the sport that I basically know everyone that I'm fighting that, you know what I mean? I don't need to do much research. I know, all right, he's good at this, he's good at that, he's not that good at this, not, not that good at that. And that's really all I need to know. I let my coaches watch the film and break it down further and study that further, but I don't really focus too much on my opponents because I'm thinking about me and what, what I'm going to do that's going to work against them more so than what they're going to do that, that worked against other opponents in, in, in their past, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's cool being part of such a big fight team and having such a, a literally a big gym. Our gym is pretty massive, so we get guys from all different teams come and train, and it's awesome because you get different looks and you guys get guys that aren't on your team that, you know what I mean, you spar the same guy so many times, he knows exactly what you're going to do, you know exactly what he's going to do, you get, you get a little bit comfortable. When you spar the new guy from another team, it's a little bit more of a, that, that edge where you guys don't really know each other, you're not really friends, and then on top of that, you, you don't know his style, so you gotta kinda adapt on the fly, it's more like a fight, so I like that too, not that we're trying to kill each other or that, but the, the intensity gets raised a little bit higher. With the support of his teammates behind him, look for Shane to be victorious May 15th at UFC 262.